Hey, did you finish that document I assigned you? Well, you better get started, unless you want to do some overtime. Well, yeah, I'm working overtime today as well. You should know by now. I always have too much work left over. Hmm? What do you ask? No reason. Well, if you had time to ask pointless questions, you might as well get back to work. Come on. <sighs> This work is never going to end. Hmm? Don't bother telling me that. I can't be positive. Not after all these nights of overtime in a row. Even I'm starting to reach my limit. I don't know how the humans in this country deal with this. It almost makes me want to start hunting again. What? No, I mean my job hunting. No, do me a favor and get those ridiculous ideas out of your head. You clearly have the wrong idea about us dragon kind. Anyway, the point is, all this work feels especially pointless lately. Perks? What perks does overtime have? Because believe me, the pay is not worth what this does to my mind and body. But why do you do it? I know that your workload isn't too bad, relatively speaking, and that you have a pretty good handle on how we do things here. I feel like your work shouldn't take you so long, to the point where you need to stay late. So what's the big deal? It's all you can do. That's so cryptic. What does that even mean? I thought the Sphinx lacked riddles, but I swear, sometimes you humans have them beat. <laughs> okay, now stop distracting me. We're both still busy. Ugh, so uncomfortable. No, I just mean... I think my shoulders are finally feeling the effects of all this work. They are stiff as rock. It's hard to concentrate when they're this sore. Crap! I left my massager at home too! What I'm gonna do? Huh? Do you wanna try saying that again? <laughs> uh, I think I was too tired to hear what you said. Did you just offer to give me a shoulder massage? Mmm, well, <laughs> I appreciate the offer, but I don't think that will be necessary. But it's a nice idea. <laughs> I can't remember the last time someone gave me any kind of massage, I guess. <sighs> I guess it was my boyfriend from a while back. <laughs> When I came home from work, he would always... Oh, well, it doesn't really matter now. Us? No, we're not still together. This was a while ago, long before I started working here. Sure, I can tell you about him. It's only you here, after all. Just promise me you won't tell anyone about this, okay? So, we met back in college. I don't want to reveal my age or anything, but back then, I was one of the first dragon kind to be allowed to attend a human university. I'm glad it's becoming very commonplace nowadays, but it used to be a real struggle. We all had to endure harsh treatment for, well, from the human student who thought we didn't belong, and from other dragony who weren't accepted. He found me one day, when I got lost. Well, right there. When another student pointed me in the wrong direction on purpose. I ended up in some building that turned out to be defunct, and got myself all turned around. 
but for the better or worse, I stand out, you know? He saw me going and got curious, so he followed me in. Shortly after, he managed to find me before I had a complete breakdown. It's a little embarrassing, but I kinda clung to him. Not just physically, as he dragged me out of that dumb dark building. But even after, he started looking after me, and most of the bowling really did stop. He made me feel safe, and I guess he didn't mind my presence either, since he eventually asked me out. We dated for quite a few years, even after we graduated. We even lived together in an apartment. After I came home from work, he would often give me a shoulder massage, and my stress from the day would just fly away. He had their own things going on, but he always made time for me. I really admire that kind of dedication. But I realized something at the job I got after college. I was good at it, really good. And I enjoyed being good at something, the security that comes with it. I didn't realize it at the time, but I based my life around chasing that feeling. I guess the culture shock from college made me desperate to find a way to protect myself. Unfortunately, I did at the expense of the first person who already spent all their time making me feel safe. I started coming home later and later, and eventually, even when I was home, I wasn't, you know? I drift away from him, further and further into my career. I broke up with them when I realized I just wasn't fit for love. Wait, I was just supposed to tell you a little bit about him. Why am I saying all this unnecessary stuff? But thank you for listening. I guess I just needed to get that off of my chest for a while now. The point is, all I do now is focus on my work. So no one can hurt me. And more importantly, I can't hurt anyone else. What? You don't believe me? Why not? Which part? You think I'm still hurting myself? <laughs> I knew you were a smart guy. Look at you, always in your young age. <laughs> Honestly, I know you're right. What is pain? I came an age. I mean, doesn't everybody have something like this? Some self-inflicted burden? Maybe this is just proof that I really fit right in with human society. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I wish I could change too. But how would I even begin? This habit of keeping people out is pretty deep-rooted. Oh, and just what is your suggestion? Ha ha ha, again with that massage nonsense. I think you should stop with jokes like that, especially at the office. It can give people the wrong idea. <sighs> what if one of the male supervisors were to see us? <laughs> there would be nothing to stop them from asking you for the same favor. You know... You're a good guy, and didn't mean anything by it, but still, we should just focus on our work and... You're serious? <laughs> I see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, you don't do overtime because you're slow with your work, do you? You do it to see me? <laughs> I always knew there was a reason you reminded me of... Well, never mind, you know what? I accept your offer. I'll be taking that shoulder massage. <laughs> but that's it. We still have work to do. And you're gonna help me finish it. Got it? So let's get this over with. I'll keep working while you... Do whatever, okay? 
Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, you, uh, ooh, ooh. You know you're, you're pretty good at this. Ooh. <laughs> mm, why did you learn to massage it as well? <laughs> really? Four sisters? <laughs> no wonder you like this job so much. You were already raised on a battlefield, so this must be nothing. Being forced to give all of them massages must have been tough, but I for one am thankful for your service. <laughs> oh, right there. Ooh. Mm, do you think you can press it just a little stronger? Yes, yes. Oh, just like that. Oh, perfect. Ah. Oh, you really are a pro. Maybe uh, I can ask you for this again sometime. Mm, only if you don't mind, of course. You don't? That's good, really good. Mm. Okay, okay, that's good enough. Uh, thank you, that was very relaxing. But it's getting late, so come on, let's finish up those documents. Hey! What are you standing around for? We need to get back to work. My tail? What about it? Yeah, it starts waving around like that when I get excited. Please don't think about it too much and just get back to work, right? <laughs> You're still not working. Is my tail really that interesting? No, don't apologize. I think it's normal to be curious, but I still wish you wouldn't stare so much. Huh? You want to touch it? Well, dragon king tails aren't exactly... Um, that's just not a good idea. <laughs> 